In this video, I am going to talk about a very niche but important topic known as AI in drug discovery. Let's try to understand how AI is working in this area and some of the Python examples as well. AI in drug discovery. In this topic, we are going to learn about traditional approach of drug discovery, how AI is helping in this area. We are going to see some key use cases with Python demo to understand actually how this is working. And I'm also going to talk about current challenges in the world of drug discovery using AI. So first of all, guys, what is the traditional approach of drug discovery? Basically, this happens through lot and lot of experiments on many molecules. Okay, so suppose all these that I'm drawing here are basically different different molecules or chemicals to keep it simple. Okay. And suppose I have to make a drug for one of the disease. What I have to do is I have to test the performance of this molecule on that and this and this and this plus the permutation and combinations of these. Okay. I'm just giving some simple examples here, but it could be very complex. Now, what I need to do, I need to have lot many permutation combinations here, and I need to see the performance on target system or target disease or target simulation, you can say whatever it is. Okay. All this process is just the step one of drug discovery. That is step one. Okay. So suppose you identify that this molecule is working better than other molecules. So let's take it to the next step. Then what could happen is it will go for something known as clinical trials. And this process itself is a very, very lengthy process. All these process together, if you combine, right, it easily takes close to 10 years. Okay. In traditional approach, I'm talking about, you know, going through all the possible options testing all these options, seeing what multiple reactions, multiple combinations, going to clinical trials. So it's a very lengthy process. How AI is helping in this process is basically by helping at different levels or three levels mainly. The first level where AI is helping is known as basically early stage discovery. Okay. Early stage discovery. The meaning of this is very simple. Suppose I have millions of compounds or millions of molecules which I want to test or I want to try against something. Okay. So how AI can help you is AI can tell you, you know, out of your 1 million, com, uh, 1 million candidates, right? You should be limiting your experiment to only let's say 100 candidates. Why? Because I am seeing the similarity of this with the existing let's say medicines or molecules. And I feel that these hundreds are more suitable for your experiment. So AI is making the early stage discovery faster by scanning the large data sets, by scanning the huge amount of molecules, compounds, large number of data sets using some deep learning models. And it is telling, you know what? You no need to look at all these 1 million that will not work good for you. Just look at these hundred and then move ahead. So what is being done here? time is being saved. Okay. The next step where AI is helping, the next major area where AI is helping is basically molecular design. Okay. So as I was telling you, what will be becoming the final product or final medicine or final drug, right? That could not be one of these existing composition or existing molecule. It could be a combination. Okay. And some of these combination may work. Some of these combination may not work. Again, we are talking about a huge data set here. So in this type of scenario, something like reinforcement learning, what it can do is it can simply see what should I try so that I achieve my result. It can simulate the situation and it can see, okay, these, these combinations work properly. These combinations do not work properly. If I move in this direction, I'm moving in right direction. If I move in this direction, I'm moving in wrong direction. And imagine all this happening on a huge data set. So the design of molecule is another area where AI is helping in the area of drug discovery. And third and very important area, clinical trials. Okay. So if you know a little bit about clinical trials, right? 
they need to try medicine on dr or drug on some of the animals and in some cases human trials also happen right so in all these scenarios right ai can help you to sample the right target set for trial okay so um, ai can help you in finding out what could be the possible side effects from of course the learning from the historical data what could be the possible side effects what could be the possible response in the system for these and it can help you in sampling your clinical trial subject to say and make the length shorter for your drug launch to market in one way we can say so through all these steps right the long window of 10 years will come down and ai is kind of helping the industry in a very very great way here what are some of the huge cases that we can see here so i spoke about comparing one molecule against another okay so one huge case that is very known in the world of molecule similarity okay molecule similarity so what happens is we will take different components of two molecules and we will try to see which are similar to each other okay then ai can also be used in predicting the properties of chemicals or molecules okay so predicting properties because for some of the molecules we know the property for some of the molecules we can predict by making the system learn the properties okay and then another huge case which i'm going to show you python demo is known as drug repurposing the meaning of drug repurposing is suppose there is existing drug for let's say cold or fever okay so for something else can i repurpose this drug how similar is this drug with some other molecule some other compound can i repurpose it for some other purpose okay for that what i need to do i need to see certain properties of this drug and then i can take that decision okay so these are some of the huge cases in this area let's go to python and i will try to show you a demo of these three so here if you see here right there is a rd kit okay uh, package you can install in python and from rd kit you can import something known as chem chem stands for chemical okay and here you can import all chem and data structs basically what this package does is it will give you the chemical properties of different molecules okay so here i am just defining two molecules using smile smiles is basically a way to define the molecules okay so if you see here my molecule one is cco that is ethanol my molecule two is this one that is acetic acid okay so i am just defining my two molecules so if you go to the documentation you can see there are other molecules as well here i am taking two molecules from smiles okay so i took these two molecules so i have mol1 and mol2 and then in the world of chemistry or in the world of drug there is something known as fingerprint okay so once i have the molecule i can get the fingerprint of this so fp1 and fp2 are nothing but from all chem right from all chem if i give this molecule as input right it will give me the fingerprint of those molecules it's very simple okay so in these two lines i am just defining two molecules in these two lines i am just taking fingerprint of those two molecules okay now what i am doing here is i am computing tenimoto similarity this is very similar to jacquard similarity or any kind of similarity you can think of in machine learning ai and i am simply computing the similarity between these two molecules so as you can see here if i run this right it says that tenimoto similarity between molecules is 0.18 okay so how it can help me is this molecule cco is similar to this molecule with a similarity of 0.18 if you remember i was telling you out of millions of molecule we need to see which are which are similar in behavior which are similar in pattern which are similar in response okay how this can help us if you run this algorithm on millions of molecule right what it can tell you is it can tell you which is more nearer to one one particular given molecule okay i'm going to show you that huge case also in the end for drug repurposing okay the second kind of huge case that i want to show you here is basically known as ai for property prediction property means suppose this is a molecule so it will have some property one such property in the world of molecule you can search in google but i will just tell you what is the meaning of this basically there is something known as log p okay 
I know these are very, very domain specific terms, but just, just, you know, at high level also, if you understand, it's fine. Log P basically tells you what is the, uh, what is the ease with which a molecule will be soluble in body. Okay. So it's a lot of detailed concept is there, chemical chemistry concepts and biology concepts. I'm just telling at very high level. Log P tells you that how easily can a medicine or drug be soluble in human body? Just at very high level. I'm not claiming to be 100% right here. Just at very high level. So if log P is high, that means it's easier to digest that. And log P is low means not easy to digest that maybe. Okay. So if I know log P of my molecules. So here, if you can see, right, I'm creating some data set here. I'm saying for CCO, log P is minus 0 0.31. For this one, log P is 0 0.34. For this one, log P is 0 0.88. For this one, log P is minus 0 0.7. I'm creating a data like this. Okay. And what I will do is I will also take other characteristics of this, these chemicals that I'm taking here. Okay. So for example, here I'm saying calculate descriptions and molecular weight, number of valence electrons, number of H acceptors, number of H donors, all these things for those molecules I'm importing. So what I'm trying to do from here to here is I'm trying to prepare data for machine learning. Okay. I will just show you what data I have prepared here. Calculate descriptors for each molecule. So descriptor is also there. Now, if you, if I want to show you how the descriptor DF looks like, right? So as you can see, these are my features, molecule weight, number of valence electrons, number of J acceptor, number of H donors. These are my features. Okay. And my target is Y. Y is basically log P. Okay. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to find out property of a molecule based on all these features. Okay. So these are my features. For example, these four things. And my target variable is this log P because this is the, this is a non value in my training data. Once I run this, right, what will happen is I can use this model to predict log P value for any unknown molecule where log P is not known. If I know these characteristics, okay, that is exactly what I'm doing here when I'm training and predicting. And as you can see, actual is minus 0 0.31, but predicted is 0 0.025. Actually 0 0.34, but predicted is 0 0.0245. And here uh, it's a basic split of train and test. And then from the same data, basically from the same data, I'm taking train and test. And I'm just trying to show you how you can predict the property of a molecule using some of the characteristics of that molecule and how it can help you is this is basically AI for property prediction. You are pre predicting the property of molecule or chemical based on its other characteristics. You are making the machine learn and then machine is telling you what would be the value. Okay. On the same line, the third use case that I want to talk about here is I told you about drug repurposing. What is the use of drug repurposing is basically, as I told you, there is one drug for cold. I want to repurpose this for some other thing. Okay. So what I want to see is how close is this drug to the next drug that is being used for that purpose. So basically I'm trying to compare the similarity of two and I'm trying to see how similar are these two. So suppose this is my cold medicine. I compare the similarity of my cold medicine with 20 other, other types of medicines and see which one is coming closer to this. Okay. So that will help me in drug repurposing. So what I'm trying to do here, if you see, right, I'm taking three medicine here. So target smiles are these. Okay. Example smiles for barbecue retic acid and I am taking aspirin. I am taking acetaminophen and I am taking ibuprofen. These are the uh, composition for that. Okay. What I am doing here, calculate similarity between target and approved drugs. So these are my approved drugs and this is not my approved drugs. Okay. So what I am trying to do here is I am trying to say target molecule is equal to from the target I'm taking this and fingerprint I'm taking. Okay. So basic the same way we took the fingerprint. So this is my target molecule and this is my approved drugs. Okay. So for the target molecule, I'm generating fingerprint and then one by one, I'll compute distance from my approved drugs. So if you see here, 
ड्रग इन अप्रूव ड्रग ड्रग मोलिक्यूल ड्रग फिंगर प्रिंट सिमिलरिटी अगेन टेनिमोटो सिमिलरिटी एंड देन इट विल गिव मी सिमिलरिटी फॉर ऑल दी अप्रूव ड्रग एंड आई एम सेंग इफ इट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू ग्रेटर देन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू देन गिव मी द सिमिलरिटी स्कोर सो वट इट इज टेलिंग इज एस्पिरीन इज जीरो पॉइंट वन वन सिमिलर विथ योर टारगेट स्माइल्स दिस वन सिमिलरली एसिटामिनोफेन इज जीरो पॉइंट वन वन आईब्रोफेन इज जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो सो वट इट इज टेलिंग इज योर टारगेट ड्रग इज मोस्ट सिमिलर टू इन दिस सिनेरियो एसिटामिनोफिन एंड एस्पिरिन सो दिस टू आर योर अप्रूव ड्रग्स एंड दिस इज योर टारगेट ड्रग सो यू कैन टेक दिस एज अ डिफरेंस पॉइंट सेंग वट शुड बी योर ड्रग रीपर्पसिंग स्ट्रैटेजी ओके दीज आर सम ऑफ दी वेरी बेसिक यूज केसेज आई नो लॉट ऑफ दीज आर वेरी डोमेन स्पेसिफिक सो मे नॉट बी इजी फॉर अस टू डाइजेस्ट बट द आइडिया ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज गाइज टू गिव यू परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ हाउ ए आई इज हेल्पिंग इन ड्रग डिस्कवरी एंड यू कैन टॉक अबाउट दिस टू सम ओके last but not the least what are the challenges in this area so you can comment me what do you think are the challenges but i will just tell you few challenges first is data privacy is a big concern because for doing all these things right you need data data of pharma data of patients data of clinical trials data of clinics data of uh, experiments labs right so data privacy is a big concern here and then um you know you might be hearing everything around ai regulation or ai ethics so i will say ai regulation is also playing a very big role in this area because you cannot use everything for any random purpose right so there there has to be some regulation on what you are using for what purpose so this is another major challenge in this area and then uh, clean data availability or good data good quality data i will say quality data availability okay so quality data is another challenge in this area there are some more challenges but i want you to think and comment me in the comment section what do you feel about it okay meanwhile in just one minute i'll wrap up what did we learn in this video first of all we understood about this niche area what is the problem statement here why it takes close to 10 years for drug discovery in what areas ai can help and reduce that timeline what are some of the use cases we saw the python demo and then some of the challenges in this area that is existing i am sure you can talk about this topic to anyone for at least 5 minutes now and that is the purpose of this video see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and be good